Hello, in this episode, we take a look at Shenzhen-based embodied AI company called AI Squared Robotics, or Zhi Pingfang in Chinese. On April 17, the company launched its general-purpose robot, AlphaBot 2, along with a major upgrade to its AGI strategy and plans to accelerate commercialization. So this is a promotion video for AlphaBot 2. AlphaBot 2 is powered by AlphaBrain, which is an advanced global and omnibody VLA. So this robot is designed to operate autonomously across diverse task environments. The company said AlphaBot 2 can perceive the environment 360 degrees. For instance, in cooking, it can go to fridge automatically to fetch ingredients to cook and then deliver rather than using those placed on a table by a human being. AlphaBot 2 also employs DeepSeek. The company also announced several partnerships. It is working with Peking University to jointly launch a lab, following their previous collaboration in developing a foundational model. It also announced a strategic partnership with Bloom H Biotech, Huaxi Shengwu in Chinese, to provide AGI solutions such as transporting, disinfection, and viral inspection. Previously, it announced a partnership with Jingneng Weidianzi, or in Ch English is called Gina, which is part of Gailey Auto into semiconductor manufacturing. For the application plans, the robot will be rolled out in airports in China's Taiwan cities in third quarter, and then some residential communities in fourth quarter. The company was established in early 2023 with strengths in both AI and hardware. It achieved rapid financing this year, raising several hundred million Chinese yuan. One investor called Dunhong Capital had previously led and continued to invest in Unitree Robotics. This is about the company's founder and CEO, Guo Yandong. He has a proven track record worked with Microsoft, Xiaopeng, or Xpeng, and Oppo. And I also found some of his views worth sharing. He said that it will take another five to seven years of groundwork before humanoid robots can reach their iPhone moment, the transformative stage in the consumer market. His company may charge operation fee for each robot based on usage time rather than selling the robot to a company. Mr. Guo also said that there are three criteria to evaluate a company's strength. First, the full stack capabilities across hardware, AI, and the data. Second, commercial implementation. Third, control over the supply chain. He also said that some companies, in order to showcase their technical strengths, they may adopt some technology not mature, which instead hinders the product from reaching mass production. Thank you.